all of the problems from these videos can be downloaded from accountingworkbook.com. Go to the website, click the PDF link, and you can download a copy of the workbook for yourself. Also on the website, you'll find all of my accounting videos, not just the ones I upload to YouTube. In fact, on the website, there are over a hundred extra videos that I haven't uploaded to YouTube. So I do hope you'll check out accountingworkbook.com. Okay, let's get started with the problem. Okay, so let's examine problem one too. There is big overlap here with a previous video, but Let's discuss it in context of answering this question. Explain the importance of ethics in accounting. I think ethics is probably very important regardless of what field one enters. Uh, I can really only speak directly from my own experience to accounting and I'll tell you why it's so crucial to us as accountants. Um, so much of what we do is trust based. Uh, when I think about uh, an accounts role as an auditor or, you know, preparing a company's year end financial statements, it's more financial accounting I'm speaking about now. Um, at the end of the day, what happens is the auditor writes a report and at the bottom they say these financial statements reflect what's going on at the company. And of course, if the auditor hasn't done a good job, if they've either been incompetent, which is unethical, or if they've actually been unscrupulous and lied, which is also unethical, um, then people have relied on the auditor. And really all the auditor has is their word, right? They sign the bottom of the auditor's report. They say, hey, we're KPMG and we say this is okay, or we're Deloitte and we say that this these financial statements are truthful. Uh, they fairly represent the, the position of the company. If they don't, uh, it's really bad for our industry, right? Poor behavior by accountants and auditors hurts the whole industry because if people say, oh, you know what? The auditor signed off and, and they, they were wrong. I, I can't believe what these auditors say. Well, it's very harmful uh, for accountants in general. So one of the reasons it's important in accounting is because the whole profession depends on honesty. It's a, a profession built on trust. And if people don't trust accountants to be ethical, then then the profession kind of tumbles. So that's one of the fundamental reasons ethics is important in accounting. Um, I, I want to stress something and, and some textbooks go into this and others don't. Uh, it's not just important that an accountant behave ethically to sort of uphold the standards of the profession. I mean, that's not the only place ethics come in, you behaving ethically yourself. Uh, accountants are often put in these positions of trust in these positions of decision making around finance and around money. Um, and so it's not only a rule to uh, your your job to to be ethical yourself when you become an accountant it's also your job when you're put in such a position to implement policies in a company that make it really difficult for people to behave unethically uh there's this thing called the fraud triangle and the fraud triangle uh looks like this A triangle, big surprise. So there's need, opportunity, and justification. And the idea here is that these three things need to be present for fraud to occur. Uh, so need, the person needs the money or they, they uh, believe that they uh, need something uh, like financial need, I guess. And so they're going to steal from the company or do something bad. Justification. Uh, justification means they, they can justify it to themselves. They can sort of explain away uh, what they're doing. So maybe uh, need, they were recently in a divorce or they have a gambling problem or they have a drug problem, uh, but they're in some position where they need money or they need to steal from the firm in, in one way or another. Justification means they can talk themselves into it, right? They can say, well, you know, nobody thinks they're a bad person. So they think I'm justified in doing this. Maybe they didn't get the raise they wanted. Maybe there's uh, 
you know, something going on at work that they're not happy about, but they're able to justify stealing or doing something bad. Opportunity is where we come in as managers and as management accountants. Uh, even if we behave ethically and we're never going to steal, maybe we'll never have the need, or even if we do have the need, we'll never be able to justify this bad behavior to ourselves. Uh, but if you're running a company, it's not just you that you're worried about, it's everybody else. So our role, because it's going to be impossible to mitigate this need, right? I, I can't prevent my employees from having a gambling problem or a drug problem or a divorce that leaves them financially hurt. Uh, I'm also going to have a difficult time, I, of course I want to minimize their justification, but the justification is happening in the own brain of the employee, so that's all happening on the employee side of things. What I can do is minimize the opportunities available to employees to uh, steal or to do something bad. So um, when I think about ethics and accounting, it's not only important for us as auditors and accountants and managers to behave ethically, it's also important for us to create an environment where it's difficult to behave unethically, where, where people don't have as much of an opportunity to behave unethically. It's not that we don't trust people and it's not that people aren't good, but you also have to be sensible about things, right? If you sort of say, oh, I trust everybody and you just leave your cash out in the open, you know, sooner or later, it's going to get the better of somebody. I, I don't know whether I told this story in the previous video, but I used to work for a bank and my job at the end of the day was to carry cash from the vault to the cash room at the end of the day. I mean, I had other jobs, I was counting money and stuff like that, but part of my job was to carry cash. And the only reason they made me do it was because I was young and it was heavy. Like there's so much cash, it was heavy. And every day I'd be carrying around $30,000 of cash from the cash room to the vault. And every single day I thought about running with the money. I'm, I consider myself a very ethical, upright person. But in the back of my mind, I was like, $30,000, this is so much money. But you know why I didn't? Well, certainly the need was not huge. I, I mean, look, I could have used 30 grand. I could use, still use 30 grand. Uh, but I was, I was feeding myself, so I wasn't in desperate need for money. Uh, I didn't have a huge justification. So even those were weak. But the fact that I was carrying $30,000 made me think of it. But the, the fundamental reason I didn't go with the money was there was no way I could get away with it, right? There's cameras everywhere. There's a guy with a gun standing at the door. I wasn't going to get away with the money if I wanted to. So even if I just had a, a fleeting moment where I lost my mind, which, you know, I did think about it, uh, there was no opportunity there. And you know, part of our job as managers and management accountants is to minimize that opportunity for people to do wrong. And uh, uh, definitely that's an area that we can explore. So ethics is important in accounting, uh, largely because so many people are relying on us. All we have in this industry really is our word. Uh, a lot of times when we're preparing financial reports, we're saying, here are the numbers, trust us. You know, our audience isn't as sophisticated as us when it comes to numbers. So a lot of times, not everybody, of course, but a lot of our audience will just be putting their trust and reliance in us. And, and so we have an obligation to them. We have a duty of care to them. And not only that, but when we're running a company, we do have an obligation to minimize these opportunities uh, to behave unethically. And we want to create an environment where people behave ethically and they have very few opportunities to behave uh, badly. Okay, that's it for this video.